In the words of the immortal Blue Bottle from The Goon Show, hello everybody. This is a little demonstration of how I go about threading up the fence posts made by Spirit Design here in Australia. They're laser cut, they are very nice product. The holes that are, are drilled in or cut in, absolutely brilliant. Although when you're working uh, away at this sort of stuff, if you can do anything to make the hole maybe that little bit bigger, that little bit more of a useful target, then we need to go for it. You can see behind the post on top of the black styrene, I've got a dressmaker's pin with a colored spherical head. Now, what I'm about to show you now is what I've done before I actually put the post in. It's a lot easier. Basically, I grabbed the dressmaker's pin and I insert the end into the hole and I don't try and uh, drill all the way through, so to speak, with the dressmaker's pin. I simply rotate the pin so that the head just opens up the outside surface of the hole. I do that for all four holes on both sides. It just makes it that little bit easier to get the wire in. Sort of like it funnels it in. Now, the black styrene you'll f is, is as much a sighting board as anything else because I've got all the grass around and as you can see, it's nice yellow stuff that looks a fair bit like wire. Now, what I've done now is I've grabbed the wire. I'm doing this all on my Nokia mobile phone. So focus is quite reasonable for a mobile phone. But you can see I've got about a centimetre of wire and I'm holding um, past the tweezers. Okay, now let the light levels settle back down. Now I'm doing this on a T-Track module on a table on our front step. I'm short-sighted. I've taken my glasses off. I'm doing pretty good visual. And looking from the top a bit, I find I can thread that through. Now before I let go of the wire, I bring the black styrene in as a sighting board and gently move the tweezers round to this side and do my level best to grab the wire and pull it through. And there we go.